Controversial election reform bills are moving forward tonight at the state capitol. The Senate Elections Committee meeting just hours ago to consider a package of 39 bills that spell out significant changes to the way we vote here in Michigan. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson is once again calling the Republican voter reform bills an embarrassment. News 10's Kylie Kahn tells us why. Today, Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson called the bill package undemocratic, but Republicans say she hasn't outlined what her specific issues are. It's not just un-American and anti-democratic. It's an abdication of the oaths of office these leaders took to serve the people of this state. Because you don't serve the people of this state by silencing their voices. Instead, you embarrass all of us. I just have to push back and say, what specifically are they referring to? I mean, it's, it's really become now just blast the whole package of bills as a boogeyman, but nobody wants to talk about what exactly is troubling. This is what is wrong. They have constructed a series of bills that a poorer family without computers, without a car, has a far harder time voting than the other families. Bills that would require voters to submit a photo ID and restrict the hours when voters can drop ballots in curbside boxes seem to be controversial. Absentee voters would need to make a photocopy of their license and send that along with the application for the absent voter ballot. Keeping in mind, these voters have already shown their identification previously. The Senate Elections Committee did not vote on any of the bills today, but we'll let you know when they move forward. Reporting in Lansing, Kylie Kahn, News 10. Now, if the bills make it through the Senate, Governor Gretchen Whitmer would likely veto them, but Republicans could circumvent that by holding a petition drive. At 11. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for Local 3 News. I'm Rebecca Bardelme. Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson has opposed election bill changes proposed by the GOP. Tim Skubik from our sister station Lansing tells us why they don't agree. They do nothing to make our elections any safer or any more secure, but do everything to create hurdles and barriers to the ballot box. Opponents of the 39 Republican election bills claim that they impose alleged restrictions that would discriminate against disadvantaged voters who, for example, will have trouble printing a photo ID in order to obtain an absentee ballot. They have constructed a series of bills that a poorer family without computers, without a car, has a far harder time voting than the other families. Uh, this is voter suppression at its core. House and Senate Republicans argue, however, these measures will protect against voter fraud. But Governor Gretchen Whitmer has already threatened to veto the package. The Republican state party leader, however, says if she does, he will launch a statewide petition drive to override the governor's veto and impose these alleged reforms. Well, we have got a potential real big fight on our hands. I'm grateful that there are a lot of businesses in Michigan that have weighed in and supported protections um, you know, that are currently in the law uh, that already make voting fair and safe. This is, uh, will not end with a gubernatorial veto. That's why Democratic Secretary of State Jocelyn Benson wants citizens to know what they might be signing on a petition, which she calls un-American and undemocratic. And if it does reach a point where any of these proposals are presented to a citizen for a signature and endorsement. It's my responsibility to make sure, as I think everyone is, to, to, that citizens know what they could potentially be signing, that underneath all of them uh, is a perniciousness that is un-American and anti-democratic. The Republican chair of a panel that looked into election issues concludes this. There's real room for changes, amendments, reforms to our election law some of which are directly going to impact voter integrity issues and maintain the security of our elections. So Michigan voters may eventually get a chance to decide who's right in this election back and forth. Here for you in Lansing, Tim Skubik, 